All right, some of you who are YouTubers, or you're wanting to be YouTubers, or you're aspiring YouTubers, have been asking me, what kind of gifts would, should we get for the YouTuber? I've got some ideas, and I'm going to show you what I've got and how much I love them. Let's start with the obvious. One of the things that you can get the aspiring YouTuber is some equipment. I love my uh camera and I'm using on this in these situations I always use my Logitech uh, camera and it's just a webcam and all the links are down below for these things because equipment is really big for the youtuber you'd be amazed at some of the stuff that we could really use then also for these I have my my uh, blue blue <laughs> snowball my blue snowball microphone I love this thing. It gives me great sound, great quality, and I'm I'm sure I've cut in all of these pictures and things. Then, let's talk video cameras for when I do my studio setups. I have this one. This is a Panasonic. It is a Panasonic G7. It does 4K. 4K is wonderful. I'm making sure that I have 4K for when everything goes 4K. Love it. It is fantastic. I'm going to tell you something which is really important. For people who do how-tos, they would love you if you got them too. Yeah, yeah, stop throwing things at the screen. Yeah, too would be really nice. But hey, it's worth a shot. But having an upgraded camera, and it does not have to be that camera, it can be any camera, would be great. Because having a, having the DSLR, I found that I like the DSLR more than I like the video camera, just for the quality. Now, if you can get somebody to buy you a 4K video camera, which I do think the last one I looked at, I think was $6,000. If you have that, hey, if you want to get me one, go ahead addresses down below. I'm kidding, you don't have to give me a $4,000, $6,000 camera, but if you do, that'd be nice. Just say it. Um, having multiple cameras, I love. I think it's great. I think it's wonderful. It's fantastic. Now, I also have, when it comes to multiple cameras, I have this, which is the Canon TS Rebel. You can't get this camera anymore. I love the camera, but there is a new camera so why you're saying well why do you have that many cameras well one of the reasons is i do multiple episodes in a day in the canon i use for my pictures so that way i don't have to take down everything that i have to read to do the still pictures that's always handy tripods are very very important we love tripods tripods are wonderful sturdier the better Get a nice sturdier, can nice sturdy uh, tripod for that person. That would be wonderful. I also have a GoPro. Are GoPros necessary? If you like action shots, they are. Um, you notice that I don't use my GoPro all that much, but I do have it just in case. Uh, lights. Lights are really good. Down in the below in the description, you will see that there are links to the lights that I use. I love my lights. Like I've said before, I live in a cave, I have to have lights. I use a wireless microphone when I'm on the set, and there have been times when it's been weird, but uh, simply because I have to keep track of where the microphone is, and I've forgotten about this time to time. But a new microphone would be nice. I use a Shure mic, and it's a Shure wireless la uh, uh, lapel mic, and it just has great sound, it's, it gives me great range, and I'm not going a whole lot of places. One of the other things which is really neat, lights for like, you know, accent lights for the room. Those are always nice. I love my over cabinet lights. You've seen those before. Uh, and I said, the description's down below. Now, some things which would be really cool if you really love that person and you want to really show it. The higher end uh, editing softwares are really nice. However, if you're going to do that, you might also want to get them some training in it. If they don't know the higher end uh, editing softwares, it's sort of cool to have that training. Uh, if you can get, if you want to give somebody something amazing, give them a new computer. People who do YouTube use lots and lots of uh, computer speed. We need it to edit and those sort of things. If you want to give them something like a uh, simple external hard drive, that would be nice. We love external hard drives. We can then save things on the external hard drive and not eat up the memory of our computer. It's really, really simple. Also, the other thing is you can, especially YouTubers who do things like uh, 
uh, makeup tutorials, those sort of things, you could actually get them makeup. That'd be really nice. Or people who do things like uh, you can get them subscriptions to uh, gift boxes and uh, you know those sort of things. Those are always nice. Uh, getting them involved in something is nice, or just plain simply you know watching what they do would be a really nice thing. That's always something good to give to a YouTuber or somebody who's an aspiring YouTuber. I have found some of the coolest things that I've gotten have been little set pieces that I can put around here. I'm one of these people who like, yeah, the little tchotchkes, everybody's going, oh, I hate those things, I just have to dust them. I can use them. I've found that I use them all the time. Now, since I do the baking and the bartending and all that stuff, kitchen appliances, those sort of things, so think about what you actually use. What are you going to need? What are things that you wouldn't have necessarily, you know, think about? But the big ones, are, like I've always said, is sound, camera, lights. Those are the big ones. Then the editing software would come next. What about you? What do you think would be some really cool gifts that you would like to receive this holiday season? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe every Monday through Friday. It's something different. This was a requested video, not the video I had intended for this Saturday, so I'll have to do that video next Saturday. Um, so if you have videos that you'd like to see me do, let me know. I will try to do them. And remember, running your house doesn't have to be a full-time job. Turn it into a hobby and have some fun.